Hello everybody, my name is Hossein from Appy Builder team and today I'm going to show you how to create a wallpaper Android app using Appy Builder. For this tutorial, I'm assuming that you're already familiar with Appy Builder and if you're not, don't worry about it. Just head on to community.appybuilder.com where you're going to find tons of tutorials and great discussions and you can even post questions and our helpful community members will be able to provide an answer. So let's go and sign in to goal.appybuilder.com. If you haven't used this platform, this is the platform that allows you to build applications and you can just use your Google account to sign in for the first time. Okay, you'll notice that this is the layout that we're going to be creating. Basically, we have a series of the buttons here that allow you to change the wallpaper. Um, the buttons we have uh, picked up from here, the button and text box from the, the user interface category button and uh, the text box that are right down here and uh, where is the text box right there and uh, we are also using uh, an image picker. The image picker is available under the media and image picker allows you to pick an image from your gal device's gallery and to be able to manipulate the wallpaper we are going to be using in the same category we are going to be using the wallpaper component and as you notice the help here it says that it's a non-visible component that provides access to the system wallpaper and with this component it lets you basically do stuff such as uh, changing the wallpaper or accessing the wallpaper it is a non-visible component meaning that when you drop it uh, it goes right below the uh, layout that you see right here and non-visible components they don't have a visual interface but they can carry on uh, commands that you code for it so let's see how to use this again we are assuming that you already have experience basic experience with uh, building applications using Appy Builder so the very first thing we want to do is be, be able just to click on this button and change the picture to an image from the asset and for this we have uploaded using this uh, upload feature here we have uploaded a picture of a cat called kitty.png okay so let's go to the blocks editor blocks editor is where we do our coding here so in the blocks editor any component that you have dropped into the design editor will be available and if I select this wallpaper manager uh, component, the flyout, you will see that there is basically three different uh, blocks as of current. So the very first one, the names are very clear. It, it says that it will uh, set the wallpaper, it will get the path of the current wallpaper, and it will get or reset any wallpaper. And basically, we reset it to the factory settings. Any of these components that are, uh, that are invoked, it will trigger this after action, passing it status of whether it was success or not, the name of the action, which is basically one of these three, and an appropriate message being, for example, uh, was the action successful or not? And if we do, if we use, for example, this one right here, get wallpaper, it will pass the path of the current wallpaper. Okay, so. This is, the, this is how the app actually looks like on my phone. I'm using the companion uh, to actually do the live testing. So let me uh, scroll up a little bit. So let's change, let's click on this first button that says set cat image from assets. So for that, we are using this uh, event handler for the button that says button asset dot click. That means whenever this button is clicked, in there we are going to use that set wallpaper uh, block so so you'll notice that it says creates a wallpaper from the given image path so for that we put the name of the uh, image that we had uploaded into the asset which is kitty.png and we prefix it with two front slashes the two front slashes is letting it know that it, this is actually an image from the um, asset folder Okay, so let's see this in action. I click on the set cat image and once I do that, please notice right here this label. So it says set cat image and it says the wallpaper was set. So let's verify this. I'm gonna click on the home button and you notice that the picture is the wallpaper right here. Let me go back to the app. 
So I go back to the app and let's verify it and display it right here. So I click on this button that says get and show wallpaper. I click it and you notice that the picture is displayed here and we see a path. So what's happening here? So when we click on this button, this is again getting invoked. We set the wallpaper to whatever image that we want. It's important to notice the two slashes in front for the asset. This triggered this after action here. We use the label one.txt to display any message. And for this button that says get and show the wallpaper, we use this is the this is the block for it that gets triggered. We use a simple block that says get wallpaper. So this invokes uh, the uh, the background code it gets the path of the current wallpaper and again it invokes this after action passing it the status and the message in this case will be this path right there and we use the path for here image one dot picture get message which is basically this message or the path right there and we change the picture to that So this is how we are actually receiving it. So let's we want to uh, let's say that we want to reset it to the factory setting. So for that, I use the reset wallpaper, which is this uh, event block right here. And for that, we use the wallpaper manager dot clear. Again, this is going to invoke this after action, passing it the status, message, and the name of the action. So if I click on the reset wallpaper. It says, okay, wallpaper was cleared. Let's verify this. I click on the home button and you notice that the wallpaper, the old wallpaper is gone. I go back to the app. Now I want to display the wallpaper again. I use the get and show wallpaper, which is this one right there. Click it and the wallpaper shows here. It is that simple. Now, if I want to set the wallpaper to um, an image on the SD card we use the same block as used before but instead of two forward slashes we use one forward slash and if I want to actually point to an image on the internet like for this one here you simply just put the HTTP address and uh, for this case for example we, this is a picture on the uh, I can hard code it here or I can get the value from a text box, which I'm doing right there, textbook, te text box to the text. I can get the value, so this way it can be a little dynamic. Uh, this is a picture of Trinity from uh, Matrix. So I'm gonna click the button. It says the wallpaper was set. I'm going to get and show wallpaper. You notice that this is a picture of the Trinity. Let's verify it on the home screen. Here is the picture. Let's go back. To the app and here it is I hope you find this uh, tutorial useful and again if you have any questions don't forget to sign up and join the community .com. and don't forget please to subscribe to my channel and like this video and I hope that I meet you in the community thank you bye